Before we get started with this problem, try pausing the video, reading the question very carefully, and determining which value is your actual and which value is your experimental. So looking at the problem, I want you to understand first that experimental is what you get. It's what you actually have to do to get a value. Where the actual, you don't have to do any work. It's a common knowledge thing. So the actual in this situation is the 22.99 grams because it's on the periodic table. So as long as you have a periodic table, it's a common knowledge thing. We all know that the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams. This is what we got in an experiment, theoretically. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how off we were. What is our percent error? So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract our actual minus our experimental. And notice how the formula says absolute value. We just want the positive number version of it. So we have our 22.99 minus 22.8, and a lot of people ask me, instead of doing the absolute value, can I just take the bigger number minus the smaller number? And you can, it gives you the same exact answer. We're gonna divide that value by our actual, so this is the actual amount we should get if we use a periodic table. We're gonna multiply that by 100, and I'm gonna simplify this first because I want to explain when we're doing percent error what this numerator actually means. So when we subtract, our numerator becomes 0 0.19. And this 0 0.19 represents how wrong we were, how off we were. So if this is the actual value, and this is a value we got, this value is how close we were to the actual answer. So we were off by 0.19 grams. If we compare that to the total actual grams, of what we should have gotten, that gives us a ratio of how off we were. You multiply that by 100, and that's your percent, your percent error. So we have 0.19 divided by 22.99. Then we're going to multiply by 100. And it turns out we were very, very close. So we were 0.826. This was our error. This is how off our numbers were, which is extremely, extremely accurate. That's a really good number. Um, it depends on the person. It depends on the experiment or the level of chemistry you take, but generally less than 5% of error is ideal.